All right, in my last video on Scrubby Zoom, what is Scrubby Zoom, and um, and other zooming things that I showed, I was in Affinity Photo, and I had three different artboards going on. And so this is a hack that you can do, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, I wish that Affinity Photo actually actually had artboards, but um, it doesn't. You cannot open Affinity Photo and create a bunch of artboards. That's a Affinity Designer thing. So I'm going to show you how this works, and it's because of one of Affinity's approaches to designing the whole suite of um, software, the designer, publisher, and photo, um, that you can actually do this. So the way you do it is first you start in designer because that's where the artboards are and I'm just going to create a couple of artboards I first need to actually start with one artboard be nice if you could actually just make an artboard straight away but now you actually have to open a file so I'm just going to use a US letter I'm in the United States that sounds good you know actually when I was planning this thing scrap that I am I'm thinking photos we're opening them in photo. why not we do four by six so start with new um, scroll down here mine are probably in a different order than you I move stuff all around um, 4R a four by six we'll make it portrait so we'll flip it and if you're not familiar with this, I do have a tutorial on the basic interface overview, how to open files and stuff. So um, I did record that for my Affinity Users Collaborative, which is a group that I run that's um, a membership group. So, But I made some videos, and they're public. You can watch them. Uh, but anyways, 4 by 6 but I flipped it to be landscape, and we'll create that. And it zooms it way in, and I forget my mouse wheel that I'm rolling it out. So now I'm in designer. So now that I actually have one on the board, we can now go to this here, which is the artboard symbol, and we can put a few more out. Now, well, that's just odd. I want to put more than one here. There we go. I don't know what it just did. It's like it backed up on me. And we're going to go to transform and just fix this as four by six. That was six by four. Now, probably the easier way to do this rather than drawing them out like that, because if you want any particular dimension, and this also changed its size, I just noticed, so six. All right, now they're the same size. Um, so you can always draw out any size artboard you want using the artboard tool. But since I want these to actually be four by six, I'm just going to, I've made two. I'm going to select both of them, shift, and then click on them. And I'm going to, over the layers panel, pick duplicate and that's going to duplicate them and I'm just going to slide them down I want to rename them because I don't want all my artboards to have the same name because when we do exporting that'll kind of cause issues so you want to get your artboards to have different names and then of course I've got them on top of each other so I have to reselect them use my move tool and slide them down and I could do that a bunch more times, but I'm just want to show you the quick hack. So here is four artboards. One, two, three, four. I've got them in a grid here, and I'm in photo. Now here's the thing is a lot of stuff can just be done in designer, even though you might be doing stuff with photos. There's just a ton of overlap, and so in many cases, I don't really need to go open this in photo. There are some tools in photo that don't appear in designer or publisher 
and Publisher has studio links, so you can kind of sort of get to all three apps, but it doesn't give you the full range of things. So we might want to be working here in Designer and hit a point where we're like, I, I really need to do this next thing with my photos over in photo because over in photo that's where the tool is and I don't have it in designer um, there is an awful lot of overlap so you may not have to do that all that often if you're a professional photographer you probably are more aware of the things that are in photo that you can't do elsewhere so anyways I'm going to save this to um, Uh, let's see, we'll call it demo, um, artboards, new photo, hack. And I'm just going to save. I'm going to save it as an AF design. I could save it as an AF template, but I'm going to save it as AF design. So that's my thing. Now I'm going to, um, I can either, I can close this out. I saved it. I'll even close the app just for fun. Um, and I'll launch photo, give it a moment to come up. And here it is. And all right. So now I'm just going to open it. We're going to do we it's probably not going to show up in the recents because the recents um, are about Affinity Photos recents. So I actually need to go open the file. So um, Artboards Hack, here we are, open that one up. And there they are. And they're listed as Artboards. They don't have anything on them, but then you can, you know, add photographs and work on, like, say you're doing a group of four by six pictures for a project, and then you can look at them side by side. You can also do embedded documents and be able to line these up so that you have various, um, images inside of images it's some you know you can do it in a couple of ways but one way is to actually add an uh, an affinity photo file to an affinity photo file you can embed affinity files inside of affinity files and then that that requires another video um, and then you can edit the one that you embedded and it'll change in the kind of master document if you will so but um, there's a lot of things you can do but that's how you get artboards in photo at some point i think affinity just needs to add the feature right into photo because you now if we're coming up with a hack for it why not just let it be a feature now this can also be opened in publisher now see the thing is with affinity even though you might now i can i can save this again and this time it'll save as AF photo. So I'm just going to hit save. Um, so now I've got two copies of the same thing. One's photo. Also um, export it as a template right here. And go back over here. And we'll save it as a template. Um, it doesn't matter what you save it in. Affinity reads all of them. The benefit of having an AF template is once you've got it set up, it won't overwrite that. It'll a template is just a, t a template, and it doesn't overwrite unless you intentionally and purposefully say yes. Please overwrite that file by saving it again as another template. Um, but this way, as a template, any of the three apps can open it. It won't overwrite the original and you can keep just reusing it and it'll prompt you to give it a new name each time. So I'm going to um, close this out and launch. Actually, if I launch Publisher, uh, where will it show up? We'll see which screen it lands on. Oh, good. All right. Well, at least you get to watch it launching this time. 
So we'll bring it up and we'll see what it looks like there. Now there's nothing on these artboards. I just, you know, laid it out as blank ones just to show you quickly, like how you do it. Um, I'm going to go over here. If we go to recent again, it's not listed there. So we're going to go for open. And now we're going to go to okay, demo files. Um, artboard hack. So here I can open it on any of them. We can open the photo one. And I'm in publisher, which has pages. And so when it brought it in, it brought it in as layers. Now publisher is not going to play quite as nicely. It's much easier to do this hack between publisher and photo. Um, but in publisher, did what did I say? It's easier to do this hack between designer and photo. And publisher, it doesn't play as nice. So pages, when I go over to pages, it says now convert artboards to spreads. I can't do all the publisher stuff unless I convert it. So now I'm converting it and I've got these four files. Um, if I zoom out, you can see they're here. So they're kind of sort of artboards, but they're now not quite the same. So in layers, it doesn't see it as an artboard anymore. It's converted it. It's now considering it a page that's four by six and it, um, because I don't have anything on it, it, it doesn't have anything in layers. If I had stuck pictures and text and so on on it, then we would have, we'd see something in the layers panel. But right now it's just a blank slate of four by six pages. Um, so that's one thing is that this hack is more between designer and photo, but let's, um, let's save it anyways. Uh, it wants to save it as a photo file, so I actually want to save it, which I may have just messed that file up. So I want to save it as a pub file, so save. And then I should probably just leave all the apps alone. Let's bring it back into Designer. I like doing this, seeing like what happens if you do this or that. I spent... Um, about 15 years total working both in um, customer support and then in software testing for two uh, tech companies to, uh, that did um, network communications. I answered phones and troubleshooted with customers and then I went to SQA and actually did software testing. So as my mindset, I do this kind of thing like what happens when you go from here to there? So now I want to go back and open. It should have it this time in my recent list. So it has the AF design. But what I want to do actually is I want to open the pub one and see what it did with that. So here's where things aren't quite playing so nice by moving it back from uh, publisher into designer by itself, different than doing the studio link. Um, I only get one of them. So it kind of breaks it down here. I'm missing the other three. And in my layers panel, it's not even telling me it's an artboard. So it's kind of um, not really a good thing to do with publisher. So this really is a hack between doing Affinity uh, Designer, create your artboards there, and then save it, either, you know, leave it as um, AF Design um, or save it as a template, and then close out and open it over in Photo. So really the compatibility is between Designer and Photo. And, um, you know, if you really need to get it into a book page by page layout, that's, that is what, uh, publisher does, that would be your last thing to do because you can't really go back to doing the artboards at that point. It's going to um, mess the file up at that point. So 
Um, so there you have it. I will work on next videos. I have one coming up on how to understand resolution, uh, your DPI, PPI, uh, and the resolution and what it means to resize versus to upscale. These are two different things. And this question, I get this, I get this question asked a lot, particularly with people who are generating images through the AI image generators and they're getting uh, images that are 72 DPI and then they have all sorts of questions about upscaling versus resizing and so on. So I have a video I'm going to work on about that. So, but anyways, this was the hack for artboards in photo.